guys, welcome back to another Dump Reviews. And this one, I must apologise because I'm a bit kind of late to the party. But I'm finally arrived and I want to talk about Bad Wolves. Now, how I got onto Bad Wolves, uh, my fiancée introduced me to their cover of the Cranberries Zombie, which, you know, I could do a whole video just on that one song, but I'll get into that later. Um, because I fell in love with that song and I thought, right, I want to know more about Bad Wolves. And, you know, here they brought out an album in May called Disobey. And that's what I'm here to review. So first of all, a bit of background. Who are Bad Wolves? Now, Bad Wolves are a super group that were formed uh, back in 2017. And, you know, some pedigree when you look at the members. You've got lead singer, Tommy Vex who was in Divine Hearsay and Snot. The drummer, uh, John Becklin, who's ex-Devil Driver. Lead guitarist, Doc Coyle, who used to be in God Forbid. Rhythm guitarist, Chris Kane, who was of Bury Your Dead, uh, For the Fallen Dreams. And bassist, Kyle Conkill, who was in this moment, and Vimic. And for me, if I was to you know, say to someone, you know, if you were a fan of old school five finger death punch, then you'll love uh, Bad Wolves and Disobey, which is quite kind of funny because the, the band itself is managed by Zoltan Bathory, if I'm saying that right, uh, who manages five finger death punch. So there we are, that is a brief history on Bad Wolves. So as soon as I listened to the album Disobey, I kind of fell in love with it straight away. It just really appealed to the you know the heavy metal part of me and uh, you know I hope I'm not doing a, some discredit some I feel you know it appeals to the kind of new metal side of me as well because Tommy Vex you know he can do the kind of the rock rapping uh, if you know what I mean but back onto the kind of heavy metal stuff right from the the word go with Officer Down you know it's, it's got such a catchy riff all the way through that I just that I love as well and uh, Tommy Vex really gets a chance to show his vocals, you know, from his, his, his real prominent growl to, you know, his normal singing, just showing what a high range uh, and kind of vocal capability Tommy Vex has. So as I say, this band is made up of a group, you know, of players that have all come from different bands and each one has brought their own different kind of sound, their own different style, and I think that really kind of it shows on this album, you know, each song is is different, but you know, they all fit in with the overlying theme of the album, which is Disobey. Yeah, each member of the band is so talented, um, you know, obviously the, the drummer, you know, you, all his stuff from Devil Driver, you know he's stunning, but the, the guitarist as well, blown me away. The different techniques they have brought, you know, from the kind of the chilling song, uh, Learn to Live, to the almost the upbeat, almost new metal song of No Masters, you know, they just bring so many, so much experience uh, to each song, and it just flows from every song you hear. As I say, I, I don't just want to give the, the guitarist the credit, the whole band, you know, they can handle any kind of style of song, you know, whether it's the, um, the kind of the heavy metal song of Jesus Slaves, to the more melodic, uh, progressive rock, almost like a wee kind of ballad of here and now. You know, each band handles it so well and the transition from song to song is just absolutely seamless. So as I've started doing with albums as well, I love to play the, you know, it sounds heavy, is it heavy? So is it heavy or not? So as I say, song we've discussed before, Office of Down, you know, it's got the potential to be heavy, you know, and it delivers big style. Next one, Run For Your Life. You know, with a, the title you think, oh, it's going to be fast, it's going to be upbeat, and it's heavy, it's fast, it's upbeat. And what I particularly love about this is the way that almost Tommy Vex is warning you at the start as he screams, run, and it just it works really well. Uh, but for me, the heaviest song is called The Conversation. You know, I didn't expect that to be heavy, you know, I thought it might have been a bit kind of ballady, but it, for me, is the heaviest song in there and great intro for it and just it's a great song so now on to the absolute epic cover of the cranberry zombie now as i said at the beginning of the video i could do a whole song dedicated uh, a whole video sorry dedicated to this song because every so often 
you know, for me, a heavy metal band that will cover a song and it goes down for generations, you know. Most recently you had Disturbed Sound of Silence, and, you know, you've had Metallica, Whiskey in the Jar, just to kind of name a few. And their cover, Bad Rose cover of Zombie, for me, needs to be held up with these elite songs. It is that good. Now, they released a video uh, for Zombie, and I'm not going to go too much in it because I urge you to go and watch it. Um, and the reason being, you know, it'll explain it all, but all proceeds um, from the video will go to the children of the lead singer of the Cranberries after she's, she sadly passed away. Um, and to date, so far, it's had 92 million views. Now that shows you how what calibre that song is at. So I urge you, after you've watched this, go and watch that video for Zombie. And like me, you'll just fall in love with the band. So there we have it. You know, that is Bad Wolves and Disobey. Now I was cheesily gonna, you know, it's a super group which produced a super album. But in all honesty, it is a fantastic album. For me, one one for the generation, you know, it, it should hopefully, you know, I know if I was just kind of starting getting heavy metal and new metal and, you know, prog metal and that, this would be the album I'd be obsessing with. And I'm so happy that I got introduced to Bad Wolves and hopefully, even if I inspire one of you to go and listen to it, you know, it's a job done for me. So as always, when I do a review, I like to give my top five songs for the album. So for Disobey, uh, number five, we have, as I say, it was more melodic here and now. Um, again, you get to hear Tommy Vex, kind of really good singing range. Number four is a surprising The Conversation, which, you know, just blew me away with its heaviness. And it's such a good song. Uh, number three is No Masters. I see, my t top three was so hard to pick, you know, I could have had either of the three in any position. They're just, the songs are that strong a caliber and say No Masters. It's one that's really got stuck in my head and I just, I love the chorus for it. And uh, as I say, it's one of the standout songs in this album for me. Uh, number two is the kind of the song that I heard after. Zombie Officer Down that made me think, yes, I'm interested. I really want to hear what else Bad Wheels has to deliver. And of course, number one is the absolute legendary cover of Zombie. So there we have it, guys. That is my full review of Bad Wheels Disobey. Uh, if you've listened to the album, let me know below what, you know, if you agree with my top five songs or any other songs you agree with. And as I say, please, 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 please go and check out the video. Um, for Bad Rules Zombie, it's on their YouTube page, you will not be disappointed. So if you enjoyed this, please give it a like and subscribe as I try to keep you up to date with everything rock and metal. So until next time, cheers.